Hello and welcome, I'm Marco. Let's play some more Hearts of Iron as Estonia. So we are now at war with Germany. With uh, such a high threat and a uh, very poor alignment towards Germany, that was to be expected. I was kind of hoping that something like this would happen to spice up the Let's Play. Hopefully we will still uh, achieve our objective of World Conquest, but it's going to be harder. Before starting recording, I've reorganized my army. Now I have a full-fledged horde of battle in our capital, waiting for the divisions that are strategically deploying in the US. I also noticed that New Zealand is being overrun by rebels, so I have a few militia brigades here that are going to deal with that. That's it. Let's let's go. We are probably going to be attacked over here, or we are under attack. Yep. We need to bring infantry here very very soon or this or this one won't. Just a question of time. Not feeling very confident to bring divisions from our capital to reinforce um, Denmark. Because very soon we'll have armor at our gates. We already have a surrender progress, not yet. We will when we lose uh, that VP, and we cannot lose our uh, capital or it's game over because we will be annexed. We are not in a faction, despite having so many VPs uh, around the world. The only ones that count for our surrender progress are uh, the ones in our cores. Hopefully, these guys won't take too long. Okay, this is automated. I'm gonna give. I was gonna say that I was gonna give this area to the AI, but it's already under the anti partisan headquarter control. Let's go back. These guys are going to fold. Damn, we need to take out the US as soon as possible. I don't think they can last much longer, but like I said, right now time is very very important. Still need to wait for the infantry. Cannot afford to waste a single day, so I'm going to enable that pop up to know when these divisions reach their destiny. Every base there. No time to waste. More reinforcements uh, will arrive at near Copenhagen, which is great. Let's speed this up a bit, now I have that pop-up. Infantry is losing um, organization quite fast. But the armor won't lose organization, at least not as fast. Great timing, no doubt about it. Ok, let's take care of this rebel. Yeah. Fortunately, that kind of stuff happens. Ok, we have Sydney. Battle of Sydney. Ok, we have a Sydney US, USA.
This attacking lane needs to end and we need more officers. We also need to finish the, the other research. Okay, this is about to end, so giving it pri giving it priority. This ought to be. In this is going to be extremely interesting. If we manage to hold, it will be just for a question of days. We yeah, I don't like. What I'm seeing. These guys are going to fold. Guys don't have fuel, I don't care. Can I win this battle? I think we can. I want to gain a bit more of time, but this is not looking very good. Yeah, stop it. We need to dig in. One of the divisions is already retreating. March these brigades, we'll fight the other, reinforce that. Come on, come on. Okay, finally. Very happy to see it. And wait for these guys. I'm even going to detach the transports, the landing crafts, move faster. We need to hold Copenhagen and we need to hold our capital. If we manage to do that, I think we're good. And of course defeat the US. We need to defeat the US. Load these guys too and rebase out our capital. Why are you going nowhere fast? Just for now. Okay, let's bring these guys here. And then these guys are going to fold. Okay, let's disable this pop up. Not yet. Now we can do it. Okay, we have another vision reinforcing soon. I don't care with that. Let's go to New Zealand. Not yet. 
need fuel here, but I don't want to reinforce this. That's that more convoys for Germany to attack. Good, we managed to reinforce. So that's very very good. We have a brigade sitting a brigade sitting here doing nothing. Let's bring it to Copenhagen. It, is, it has a um, uh, let's say at a uh, high organization, much higher than this one, so it's, it's going to join this division to buy us some more time. There's no point uh, creating a order of battle here because these, these brigades, uh, these divisions have no leader, so uh, defensive leaders do nothing without if the divisions have leader, don't have a leader. And they have heavy armor here. Uh, Damn, am I researching an anti-tank ahead of time? Yeah. I need to be able to pierce every armor. So where is my fleet? Still far. Let's speed this up, no point playing at speed 3. Not anymore. Okay. Let's try to drive these guys away. Guderian in charge of the infantry division. Okay, you have an organization of ten. Guder. Man, this is going to be close. We won that battle. Sit tight. This will buy us a bit more of time. Where is this? Couldn't care less. Not at this point. Over there. And over there. And we're being attacked by heavy armor. Should be able to survive this. Because at this point we still outnumber them and they have at minus 72.5% of terrain. So we're good. And I guess we are going to get away. We're going to hold this straight, so it seems. Because these guys are almost there, and this division will reinforce soon. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so let's unload the troops. For or five should be enough to hold these. Uh, four. We need the troops elsewhere. Come on, reinforce. These guys don't have maximum organization. That's why. why that's why this is happening. And we have our armor. Great. Great timing. I could also. Um, had taken one of these infantry brigades and give it to this militia um, along with um, an artillery brigade, something like that. This would give the combined arms bonus to the militia, make it stronger, but I didn't think it was needed. And it won't have another. Okay. No one at the border, I'm gonna deploy armor here. So they will stay here for we are for reorganizing. We are losing IC. 
lot of IC. And we need these cruisers. We really, really need these cruisers too, to be able to rule the seas against Germany. Okay. This will end soon. And I'll leave five brigades of, of, of militia here, just in case. The rest is going to be upgraded to infantry. Kriegsman is here. Let's intercept it. I'm probably going to lose ships. Okay, um, I'm going to maximize the fleet now because I was not expecting these. I'm going to get rid of the level 1 cruisers because they are giving me a um, positioning penalty and not bringing much firepower to the, to the fleet. So these 27 cruisers will fight better. They have a less severe positioning penalty, but still it's very high. I'm gonna get rid of another cruiser or two. This is better if until at least until it's better to have a low positioning penalty than having a big stack uh, with low skilled low skilled admirals. But still 23 I'm not very comfortable with only 23. We'll see what happens. Damn they've escaped. Get out of there. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. This guy should have a decent position panel, uh, a decent positioning, and be able to do some. Oh, damn! What the heck is these destroyers? No, these are transports. But this is great. This will reduce their position. Problem is that we might fire at the transports. Come on, sink them all. Of course not, but with one and we don't lose any ship. That's the most important. Okay, first engagement is over, we need to bring troops to reinforce our capital. Or maybe not. Okay, let's. I need to sink that fleet. Let's try again. Twenty one ships. Okay, these guys are going to our capital to reinforce. This is free training. And I'm going to do a break here. Thank you very much for watching and take care.